Hi guys, so today I have a little Halloween themed picture for you. It's not like, you know, a typical Halloween pic with, um, you know, witches and werewolves and all that jazz. I just wanted to do something just kind of a little creepy, you know, on the more ominous side. And I know some of you don't handle the creepy stuff well, so I didn't want to do something with a creepy face because some of you might just have a heart attack when you see the thumbnail, so I didn't want to do that. So this is just a little creepy. You can come up with your own story for it, however you want to interpret it. I just wanted it creepy. So initially, I thought, you know, I just wanted to draw trees. I wasn't even thinking about doing a picture for Halloween. Well, I kind of was, but I didn't know what I was going to do. But I was in class, and I just wanted to draw trees, because a secret of mine is that I really like drawing trees. They're just kind of fun, you know, like tree branches, all that. Anyways, um, I did that, and then I thought, you know... I could make this creepy, like a creepy forest, creepy woods type thing, especially with all those like clown sightings all around. You know, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do something like that. So I was going to do like the moon behind, you know, all the trees and stuff. But then I decided to make the light source in front because then I decided to draw the girl. And I wanted her to be, you know, just kind of like walking around. Initially, I didn't have any of that other stuff. You'll see when I paint it, um, all that other stuff on the ground. Uh, I just had the girl and the trees, and I just wanted to make her seem like a lonesome spirit, just, you know, frolicking along the woods or whatever. But then I thought, you know, I want to add a little story to this, because, you know, it could be, you could have a story for a girl just walking around the woods like a creepy ghost girl, but I wanted some more like complexity to it some more depth so i added that other stuff and you can interpret it any way you want um i don't really have a story for it i was thinking about it as i was painting it but it could go many ways so you guys can figure that out um i really like creepy stuff if you've seen my snaps or i think i might have mentioned it in some of my other videos i do like watching um horror video game videos um i don't really do that anymore it's just that doesn't interest me as much so instead while i study i like to listen to ghost stories and ouija board stories um anything supernatural really um i do like stuff about you know psychics and all that jazz but mostly my area of interest is just you know just ghosts um maybe demons stuff like that i'm not i'm not gonna go like summon a demon or play a ouija board or anything i'm not that cray but I do really like, you know, going out and trying to find ghosties and listening to stories and stuff. So if you guys have an interesting ghost story, please, and I mean please, comment below and just tell me about it. I absolutely love this stuff. So I guess it kind of works for Halloween because I'm not really a big Halloween person anyway. Um, when I was younger, I didn't really dress up. I was the lazy one. I'm still the lazy one and I will forever be the lazy one. Um, I will not dish out money to, you know, dress myself up because that's a lot of effort and I don't have that much energy, so yeah. Um, let's see here. So instead of like trick-or-treating and stuff, I would rather just stay home and read a bunch of creepy stories. Um, I don't really like creepy pastas just because they're not real. I want something that's real hardcore, real and creepy and actually happen to someone. Like, that's my type of horror. Um, I don't really mind, um, haunted houses either. I don't really like the ones that are, you know, set up. I like the haunted houses that are actually haunted because, I don't know, the atmosphere is what gets you. It's very tense, it's cold, and, you know, at any moment, something could, like, brush past you, something could touch you, you could hear something. That's the kind of stuff I like. Um, I don't mind jump scares that much, but it's just, like, not as enjoyable for me because I'll just you know, attack, whatever it is that's just jump scaring me and I don't get the thrill of like, oh my gosh, some something is here that I cannot see, that type of thing. So hope you guys get me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like the drawing and let's see here. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading that much in November because next week, which is the first week of November, um, first I have my birthday and following my birthday, I have 
three exams in a row, um, like consecutively, and so I'm just not happy about that. I'll have to study for those exams on my birthday. Three exams, including physics, which I absolutely abhor. So yeah, um, the video is ending, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So yeah, bye! Happy Halloween!